It's time, it's time, it's time for Ask Adam. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Adam and I love questions. I love asking questions. I love answering questions. I love everything to do with questions. Today's question comes from Sammy S. in Washington Township, Michigan. Washington Township, Michigan is also in the United States and it's a five hour flight from Los Angeles, California, where I live. How far is Washington Township, Michigan from where you live? A fun fact about Michigan is that you are always within six miles of water, whether it's a river, a lake, or a great lake. Michigan is home to over 11,000 lakes, which is cuckoo bananas. Another fun fact about Michigan is that it is nicknamed the Mitten State, because the state itself looks like a mitten. Hello. Now back to Sammy's question. Sammy asks, how do plants grow? Ooh, I'm so excited to learn how little seeds can become big, beautiful plants. There are so many different kinds of plants. You know, there's the, um, well, there's the, uh, okay, well, I know the name of, Wow, I can picture so many different plants in my mind, but I can't seem to remember their names. It seems like I need to put on one of my magic adventure hats right away. Which of my magic adventure hats should I put on to gain the knowledge to answer Sammy's question and transport us to the plants? My firefighter hat? My nature hat? Or my bike helmet? my nature hat. Very good. Phew. Now that I have my magic adventure hat on, I can tell you all about plants and that there are lots of different kinds, like a money tree, a fiddle leaf fig, a rubber plant, a giant bird of paradise, mimosa plant, a croton gold dust. Wow, there are so many. In order to answer Sammy's question, I think we need to go look at some plants. To transport us to the plants, we need to say the magical phrase, cuckoo bananas, three times. Say it with me. Cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas. Whoa! Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, there you are. I thought I lost you for a second. We made it. Today we're at Mickey Hargitay Plants, and with my magic adventure hat on, I can tell you all about plants. There are so many different kinds that are all unique, different in shape, size, and color. Come on, let's explore. Okay, our first plant is the fiddle leaf fig. That's kind of a tongue twister. Can you say it three times fast? Try it with me. Fiddle leaf fig, fiddle leaf fig, fiddle leaf fig. <laughs> So the fiddle leaf fig, as you can see, has really big, gorgeous green leaves. A cool fact about the fiddle leaf fig is that it can live both indoors and outdoors, kind of like a dog. Okay, let's go see the next one. Come on. Whoa, look at this one. It's sprinkled with little bits of gold. Can you guess the name of this one? This is actually a croton plant, or more specifically, a croton gold dust plant. You can tell because it's sprinkled with gold dust. See? A cool thing about the croton plant is that there are over a hundred different types of them, and they come in lots of different colors, like red, orange, yellow, copper, ivory, brown, and even pink. Come on, let's go. Ooh, and lastly, and this is my favorite, this is a mimosa pudica plant also known as a sensitive plant, also known as a tickle me plant. When you touch its leaves or tickle them, they close up. Watch. Tickle time. <laughs> Whoa, the plant is moving, which is cuckoo bananas. Now that we've seen a few different types of plants, in order to answer Sammy's question, I think it's time for us to do some planting of our own. Let's grab some seeds and get to work. Come on. All right, so the plant we've decided to grow today is, drum roll please, the tickle me plant, also known as the sensitive plant, also known as mimosa pudica. 
We chose the Tickle Me plant because when you touch it, it moves, which is cuckoo bananas. And none of the other plants did that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a pot filled with soil. It's pretty full, almost to the top, but still a little bit of room left over. We're gonna take our seeds. As you can see, they're really itty bitty. And we're gonna take three of the seeds and we're gonna place them in the pot spread out. One, two, three. Now, we are going to cover the seeds with just a little bit of soil. So sprinkle that on top. Awesome. Then, we're gonna cover all of it with some water and make sure that the soil is nice and moist. Great, now that we've covered it with water, we're gonna leave it in a nice sunny place to rest for a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now at this point you're probably thinking, Adam, seeds, soil, water, leave in the sun? Why? And you're so right. Let's go back. The reason we put the seeds in the soil is to give it structure. When the seed grows, the roots grow downward into the soil and the plant grows upward. The soil helps keep the plant in place and helps it thrive and grow big and strong. Now you're probably thinking, well, what about the water and the sunlight? In order to explain those elements, we're gonna need to introduce a very big word called photosynthesis. Say it with me, photosynthesis. Just like people and animals, plants need food to grow, but they don't have to go to the store to buy it. Plants are able to make their own food whenever they need it. Through the process of photosynthesis, plants use water, sun, and air to make their own food. So, when you give plants all the tools they need to succeed, they're going to grow. If we go back to the very beginning, we gave our plant everything it needs to succeed. We gave it soil for structure. We spread out the seeds enough so that they can grow big and strong. We gave it water, sunlight, and access to air. So I think, we did it! We answered Sammy's question, how do plants grow? Woohoo! Now, to take us back home, I need you to help me say the magical phrase, cuckoo bananas, three times. Say it with me. Cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas. Whoa! We did it! We answered Sammy's question, how do plants grow? And planted some of our own plants as well. To recap, we learned about three different types of plants. The tongue twister, fiddle leaf fig, the gorgeous croton gold dust, and lastly, the plant with many names. The mimosa plant, also known as the tickle me plant, also known as the sensitive plant. In the process of planting the tickle me plant, we learned a big word called photosynthesis, which is the process of plants using air, water, and sunlight to create their own food and grow big and strong. What an amazing day filled with plants and questions. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to our next adventure real soon. Bye bye for now. Oh, you're still here. Well, since I still have your attention, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button down below. Also, use the links in the description to follow us on social media. And lastly, go to askadam.tv to submit your question, and maybe we'll answer it on a future episode. Thanks so much. Bye-bye for now.